Today I wanted to talk about something a tad bit different from the hot topic of the day trend that I've been doing recently. A creature so mysterious that he makes the master of masters look like one of the most normal characters in video game existence. The divine prophet himself, Martin Cabello. Cocaina. No. Flower. Somebody just asked me um, why I hate the military. Now Martin's a strange case. I remember stumbling across some of his content a few years back and I've been an avid fan of him ever since. On the surface, he just seems like such an odd, wacky, goofy guy and I can't just look away. He's always had some interesting shit to say. Somehow he'll just take some random thing from pop culture and he'll expand it like it's the word of God. It'll be some profound lore on how exactly the universe works by taking different words and somehow extrapolating them into quadruple entendres and then taking taking each plot point of that and expanding it 10x. Like I genuinely think he made some deal with some divine being and he's been cursed with infinite knowledge but he can't convey those plot points to normal human beings. And jokes aside, he does possess some incredibly high level of intelligence. He somehow finds the smallest patterns in each word and just runs with it like I said. But if you really pay attention to exactly what he's saying, he's telling some really interesting and intense stories about his life. Like the man has even started his own religion called Cabelloism and it's derived from Christianity. It's pretty much just his teaching. And a common trend for Cabelloism is he takes Adam and Eve and just like takes those points, like I said, quadruple entendrism and expands on it 10x. And I know around the internet, some people favor Chris Chan over like the internet mystery, but me personally, I am a diehard Martin fan and I will move mountains for this nigga, like literally. Look at this man, like, like just look at this man and tell me that you don't fuck with him. Preparation H and KY Jelly, cause this post is a pain in the ass, but it's beneficial on the whole. Somebody asked me why my, my friend Josh blew himself up with his two children. Like he'll post 10 times in a single day in rapid succession. Like no bullshit, it really can get annoying, but usually I just go by. And he posts the same stuff on all platforms and I have only really paid attention to him on Instagram. But since I took a big ass Instagram break because that fucking sucks, I haven't really seen his content for like a decent amount of time. But recently I came back to that because I started making rugs and I wanted to just like show off my rugs instead of just flooding them in my Discord. You should totally join my Discord by the way. It's in the description. But I yeah, after scrolling through Instagram for a few minutes, I noticed that I did not see him anywhere down my timeline. I got worried. I scrolled up and down this man's page and he has not posted a single image, a single piece of media for 10 weeks. Back in January, nigga, I was sure. So my next natural plan of attack was to hop on Twitter to look around for clues and just search up his name. And the Martin Out of Context account posted this tweet. And I'm not gonna lie, now I know something's up. And after a few more hours of digging, I found this. Our boy Martin has been hit with six counts of anti-harassment order and two counts of cyber stalking. And he just flat out ignored the first court order. Like I didn't even know that cyber stalking was a crime until today. Like with all things, I was lost in this cruel world without my light Martin Cabello to guide me. But am I surprised by him being locked up? No, <laughs> not by any means. No, no not, not at all. Over the time that I've been following Martin, he has had several complaints from his neighbors of him just being a pest. Like the shit got so bad that he ended up on the local news station. Probably in the last year, we started noticing some weirdness coming out of him. But this woman wants to remain anonymous, but says Cabello regularly goes on bizarre rants using his massive social media following on platforms like TikTok and Instagram. He is saying that um, his neighbors who are retirees are um, constantly breaking into his house and being him and his wife. And making matters worse. All his followers know exactly where I live. This man who also wants us to hide his identity says some of Cabello's followers online are starting to threaten people in their South Hill neighborhood, believing these claims. It gets scary. Can you come outside? We tried to get Cabello's side of the story, but he only peered out of his window and told me to go away. Some of his neighbors say their only option to find relief is to sell their home. But even that is becoming a problem. Our realtor found out about him and looked at his videos and dropped us like a hot rock. And looking at that clip, I truly do feel bad for his neighbors. I mean, they're just getting auto blacklisted from the housing market so they can't even move out to just like avoid them. And it's actually just sad as shit. So I understand why he's locked up. And I, I agree that he should be locked up. And towards the more recent end of his internet escapade, he did start telling people to pull up to his neighborhood with guns and just straight up dox his address, which is just like not at all okay. Like, like why are you why are you threatening these people's lives no matter what you think they did keyword 
think. And I know I said I'm in adverse order, but he can be a bit much at times. He speaks a lot on how the military is after him, as well as the fact that his neighbors are trying to silence him for exposing them. Now, before I say this next bit of info, I do want to say that I am not fully aware of what's going on, specifically because all of what we see is from Martin's point of view. Like no one knows the truth on anything other than the parties involved. He says that he has severe PTSD and has been hit in the head very hard, essentially causing him to have a CTE. On top of this, he eats raw meat, drinks raw eggs, and pops a bunch of pills like they're perks every day. Like no one knows if these are actual supplements or just flat out perks that are just making his mental state even worse. And his wife barely has any social media presence, so we literally only have him as the info source for his side of the story. And with that being said, it is a legend, keyword alleged, that his neighbors are running a pedo sex trafficking ring, which is an insane allegation. Now, when I first started recording this video, I did not know how deep this rabbit hole went. And when I tell you I was supposed to record this video at goddamn three o'clock, I'm recording it at 9.30 because of how deep down the rabbit hole I went. Like you can you can ask Craig. I was in VC all day just researching the fuck out this nigga. Like, yo, this story is insane, bro. Oh my God, how is he not talked about more? Like, I really don't know if he's just spitting the truth, if he's an internet troll, if he's genuinely crazy, all three combined. Like, what is going on with him? Like, I, I need to know, I gotta understand. Like, I've been with Info Crusade for hours. Like, I feel like my third eye was just I searched multiple subreddits. I have read multiple news articles. And if you have been in my community for longer than like two seconds, you'll understand that I fucking hate reading. I read multiple pieces of media to understand this man and I still don't get it. So if you will understand anything about this man, know anything about him personally, anything, please let me know in the comments. I beg of you, please. And back to Martin, he believed that he was being silenced by the pedal ring and needed protection. And like I said, no one knows if any of this is true or not. And with half of his audience being genuine trolls, some people do and some people don't think that everything is made up in his mind. And the people that don't think that stuff is made up in his mind go to his house and threaten his neighbors. And to further expand on how Martin operates, it's he likes to reiterate a lot in his videos that he was in the military and that they're trying to hunt him down. And like I said earlier, he also had a traumatic brain injury, which which just genuinely leads people to not understand what the fuck is going on here. But one thing we do know for certain is he has those brain injuries because he has posted images of it on Instagram multiple times. However, the military part is up in the air. I remember seeing somewhere that he was lying about the military stuff, but then a few days later, it was corrected and it was proved that he was in the military, but he was in a less dangerous sector of it. Another thing that Martin brings up in his videos is his brother, Josh. Now the story of his alleged brother, Josh, is that he blew himself and his family up because he was trying to get away from the government and the military. Here's my gas can. My brother Josh blew himself up and his two kids. Now Josh is real. We have confirmation of that happening here. I'll also put all the articles and all that in the description, so don't worry. And the truth behind him being actually related to Martin is up in the air completely. And with those two pieces of foundation laid, what genuinely confuses me about this guy Martin is what is real and what is fake. On almost all the stuff that he accuses people of, all the rumors that he spreads, everything he talks about, he talks about it in extreme detail, which leads me to believe that he 1 million percent believes in it or something happened in Martin just filled in the gaps of it with his own imagination. With all that pre-lore explained, we can go back to the court case itself. And it looks like I'm starting to think about him right on time because the court stuff just started happening and being put into motion last Monday. I got curious about it and looked up the court docs because like I said, I was just digging for information and oh my goodness, this shit runs deep. <laughs> oh my God. So on the original court date, way back in January, he was deemed incompetent to stand trial and was sentenced to 30 days in a psych hole. So he served that time and flash forward to last week, his charges were upgraded to felonies and they're just laying all this shit out on the table for this guy. Now, I'm personally not gonna go into too much detail on everything about the court situation, mostly for the respect of the parties and the fact that I'm not a lawyer and I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about with like legal stuff. I mean, I have on a black father t-shirt. Would you really trust a nigga with a black father t-shirt talking about 
about like court stuff? No, I didn't think so. If you would like to read it, uh, I'll put this stuff in the description. But TLDR, Martin is pretty much being sued by the state of Washington for stalking and cyber harassing his neighbors, as well as accusing them of involvement with child trafficking, child R-wording and murdering all on social media. And these are not allegations to play with, right? Like by any means, like these are the same neighbors that he was saying were trying to actively silence and game in him. By looking at the court docs, this first court hearing was pretty much just the neighbors telling their piece and just saying exactly what he was doing and the fact that he would not leave them niggas alone. And like I said, this is just the first court hearing, so the case is not over yet. And regardless of if they did what he accused them of, he's still incredibly guilty of doing exactly what they said, which is like the cyber stalking and the harassment. Like he's definitely going to jail for that, like 110%. And looking at the court site, there's another court proceeding on April 10th, which is this upcoming Monday. I'll be monitoring this situation. So if you want to stay in the loop, just make sure you subscribe because I'll be talking about it more when it happens. Now, if you seen any of my videos you know i like to play devil's advocate and look at the coin on both sides and the question that i would like to pose here is that what if he's actually telling some form of truth here now before everybody gets up in arms no i am not accusing his neighbors of being p words but if you actually listen to this man explain his stories and tales he's telling some intense lore in extensive detail i personally don't know the guy but pedo allegations is not something to be playing around with like that is a detrimental tag to place on somebody whether they did it or not he saw them do do something strange and he just filled in the gaps himself and i'm more than sure that his wife would not be letting him spread information around the neighborhood like that and just post on the internet and we can't actually get any confirmation on any of this because it looks like he just refused to do interviews as well as the fact that he's clearly in jail like i said earlier this is clearly an incredibly intelligent man but it is so evident that he is struggling a ton with mental issues here and i just want to reiterate here i am not accusing anyone of anything here nor am i agreeing with martin here what i am saying is that he has to have some reason to pin that on them. Once again, I don't know these people. I never will know them. And at the end of the day, this is unfortunately just another case of someone needing mental health and either ignoring it or just not receiving it. And who knows, man, maybe the sheriff and the neighborhood are actually conspiring against them. Maybe the military is trying to game end them. Maybe all the stuff he's saying is true. We're just the crazy ones. Who knows? But like I said earlier, if you guys have any information on this, please let me know in the comments. Like I am begging for information at this point. Like I'm on my hands and knees just like oh, please info please i need to know about this man i'm gonna put a few videos in the description to kind of highlight and describe martin's lore in case you guys are interested like i said i will be talking about this more as i learn more information so sub up if you want to stay updated with me as well as the fact that you made it to the end of the video so you clearly like me so make sure you sub up for that make sure you like the video if you liked it as well and i'm out of here peace peace